Hello everyone, back with another PBL and STEM project that we just finished with the 5th graders. In this video, I hope you can see how PBL and STEM allows teachers to be creative in the way they deliver instruction and develop units. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and click on the notification icon as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Our fifth grade students were given the following driving question. Are you the next Martian? At the end of this unit, students underwent the Mars Simulation Day, a day where students were tested in different stations to see who had the disposition, knowledge, and skills needed for space exploration. This year, only five students were given the title of the next Martian. To prepare students for the simulation day, students were given Mars challenges in the design class. Students were asked the following design question. How will you, as NASA engineers, safely descend and land a spacecraft from a high location and retrieve samples from Mars for testing? This question required the knowledge and skills of the following subject areas. For the entry event, I showed our 5th graders the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, video called 7 Minutes of Terror, The Challenges of Getting to Mars. Our goal was to get students excited about designing and testing their own spacecrafts. The video described the incredible entry, descent, and landing, or EDL, on Mars of the Curiosity rover in 2012. To slow down the unmanned spacecraft to 200 miles per hour, a supersonic parachute was deployed. Due to the massive dust cloud caused by the rockets, the spacecraft used a sky crane to gently land the rover to the surface. Students used the design thinking method to design and manufacture their spacecraft. In the empathize stage, students gained a deep understanding of the design problem. Students learned how the gravitational force of Earth acting on an object near Earth's surface pulls the object towards the planet's center. They supported an argument that the gravitational force exerted by Earth on objects is directed down through a demonstration that they recorded with an app called Seesaw. In the library, with our librarian Megan Green, the 5th graders also learned about aerodynamics, specifically drag, a type of friction that acts opposite to the motion of an object and ultimately slows the object down. Next year, we hope to have students interview experts in this field to gain a better understanding in the empathize stage. Finally, they were given the parameters of their challenge. Their challenge was to safely land their designed spacecraft from the fourth floor of our elementary school building while containing an egg that would represent their Mars rover. Their mission would be successful if their rover egg was uncracked. In the defined stage, students used the information they gathered from their research and observations, organized them under needs and insights, and developed their problem sentence. Next, the ideate stage requires students to brainstorm and sketch as many visual solutions they could based on their criteria for success. They considered aerodynamic drag and the weight of their spacecraft. They were permitted to think of wild ideas, removing self-censorship, expanding the views of what a solution can be. The students shared their ideas with others by using a technique made famous by the animation studio Pixar called plussing. In this technique of giving feedback, students only provided feedback if they could add on to an idea and never take away from it by using the phrase yes and. As plussers, their job was to make the idea better and their partner look awesome. After plussing their classmates' ideas, they were paired up with a partner and created a blueprint of their spacecraft that consisted of both their ideas. This blueprint contained multiple viewpoints, specifications, and the materials required. They were given a budget and also a list of materials that included their costs. They then created their spacecraft in the prototype stage. In the test stage, students tossed out their spacecrafts from the fourth floor to see if they could land it safely without their rover egg being cracked. These tests helped teams identify failure points which they later improved upon and also ignited new ideas for better solutions.
When teams completed this challenge, they moved on to learning how to operate and program the LEGO Mindstorm EV3s. They were then introduced to the second challenge of the driving question. Their task was to program their EV3s to maneuver through obstacles to get to a specific area. Elizabeth Dorenzo and I were in charge of the science and technology station of the Mars Simulation Day. Here students used their robotic skills to retrieve Mars samples and capsules using their rover's arms back to the space station. After retrieving the capsule, Mr. Enzo gave the 5th graders the next challenge. It seems that the samples from Mars, Earth, the Moon, and an asteroid had not been labeled. It was our students' job to locate where each sample came from by performing reaction tests using water, vinegar, and iodine. Yeah, it's no, no. The, yeah. I think these two are the same. Mystery and uh, the moon are the same, see? They both fizz up and then die down. They are, they, this one just keeps fizzing up. The Mars Simulation Day station involved the following standards. Each student was given points for each station activity. The students who earned the most points were named the next Martian. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to give a special thanks to the following for making this project possible. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and also click on the like button if you enjoyed the content.